Ubisoft has disbanded the team behind the Prince of Persia reboot. Oof. Go woke, go broke. Nobody's going to talk about this because I doubt anybody noticed or cared. But Prince of Persia was one of the most ridiculously overhyped titles from any third party developer this year was it last year or this year i don't even i don't even remember but this game came out and people were seriously trying to tell you that this was some stellar metroid like this was some like great game that ubisoft was really delivering that they really understood like uh putting out this really high quality uh 2d 2d title with all these cool mechanics right and uh immediately 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 people began to notice very weird things. Specifically, it's a Prince of Persia game, but you're not playing as the prince. You're playing as some Afri African guy with a stupid haircut, okay? For, you don't play as other characters in Prince of Persia, okay? <laughs> So immediately people, like, tried to call this out. Immediately people tried to, like, address this and how ridiculous it was. But immediately, like, the Ubisoft Defense Force came out and was just like, well, uh, uh, actually, the, the prince has looked completely different in, in every game he's ever appeared in, which is, like, a complete non-argument and uh, was rightly laughed at. But, again, I didn't play the game. I didn't care about it. I played the demo, uh, realized it was trash, and just kind of, like, forgot about it right you know i knew the game was woke right i knew this was like a, an example of just ubisoft not knowing what they were doing and how to produce a good game trying to be subversive to gamer culture right but the best thing to do in these situations is to just ignore the product and so that's what i did i ignored the shills i ignored the youtubers i just went about my day ignored the game did not support it i uh, did not buy it i uh, did not care at all Prince of Persia The Last Crown was dead to me. And what happens? What happens to uh, Prince of Persia? The developers get shut down. Oof. Unbelievable. Unbelievable that such a, a great, diverse game did so poorly. Right? Who could have expected that replacing, you know, an ethnic minority, like, you know, a Persian guy with this with this uh replacement would go badly and the thing that gets me about this because i don't know how true this is but I, I saw someone talking about this apparently the big plot twist in this game is that your character is actually the real prince and the prince you're trying to save is actually some evil imposter which if that's true is just completely on board with like the ubisoft agenda and their weird like uh and their weird aggressive downplaying uh of like trying to uh undermine like established gaming ips right like how hard would it have been to make like a real prince of persia game you know where you actually play as the prince but instead nope so even like people who aren't even really fans like me like saw through this and uh, I don't think anybody's going to mourn this game. Again, this is the thing. Like, you all, like, I think one of the big reasons why the industry is rallying behind Baldos Gate 3 is because there's the illusion of success. There's the illusion that this is some critically, like, lauded, like, beloved thing, even though it's not true. Like, uh, with Baldos Gate 3, it wasn't obviously, like... People were able to, like, damage control all, like, the really evident, like, um, woke aspects to it. People tried to say they don't matter and that the game was popular anyway, whatever. With, like, Prince of Persia, with, like, 99% of other woke games, that isn't really possible. Because game journals can really only rally behind one product. If they, like, diversify and try propping up, like, other things, like Prince of Persia... What ends up happening is that they just completely fall flat on their face and nothing gets propped up, right? So in this case, like, I don't even think people have thought about Prince of Persia at all since it came out and disappointed people, you know? Like, I don't think people even remember there was a controversy, right? I don't even think people realize that this game even exists, right? 
And again, that's the thing to understand about like the vast majority of woke projects, you know, things outside of Concord, things outside of like, uh, you know, Tomb Raider, Netflix, most of these projects are failing so spectacularly. Most people don't even realize that they fail. Right. Like again, Astrobot is a really good example. It's not a woke product, but like most people don't realize that Astrobot is a complete and total failure because nobody cared about Astrobot to begin with, right? Just like nobody cares about like uh you know Prince of Persia. Ubisoft um did not stick with this franchise enough to really make this reboot work. If they really stuck with it, right? If they really developed like the characters and the world and like the setting and the gameplay and stuff like that, they might have had something here. But instead, they decided to like just go all in on this really weird idea of trying to replace their character, and it just completely blew up in their face. Because like you know, Prince of Persia fans didn't like it, uh, Metroid like fans didn't like it, right? Like, ugh. like what exactly were we? What who exactly was this made for is my thing. And the worst thing about it is like this reminds me a lot of like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, right? Where you get this idea where this is a game that could have worked with more competent developers, but because of what they tried to do, of how they tried to like, you know, just push this bizarre political messaging, like yeah. Like, we had to reject it for that reason. Whatever, like, positive qualities the game has are going to be completely buried under the fact that the game is propaganda and should be thought of as such. And and again, this is why Ubisoft is completely failing. This is why woke culture is not getting anywhere, right? This is why Larry Fink's grand scheme of, like, a socially conditioning society by, like, making everything woke is, like, doomed to failure. Because if something is woke, if people don't like something, they're just not going to engage with it, right? <laughs> you know, like, we saw this happen to Star Wars where they uh, completely – where they got a hold of, like, what, the second most popular brand in the world, right? They got a hold of this brand, you know, sabotaged it, ruined it, made it woke, and what happens? Do most people even notice or care? No, because when people say they love Star Wars, they mean the first three movies. Outside of that, most people aren't generally aware of all the spinoff, expanded universe, like uh, all the shows that come off, right? that come out right you know most people don't care about star wars that much and to me it seems as if like this uh this uh this this um this method of trying to control the population it is completely 100 percent doomed to failure because as more and more people start noticing the patterns they start associating woke culture with like communism and marxism right the instant people start realizing like what the message actually is and start de defining it and start realizing how entrenched it is in society and start rejecting like uh the opinions of experts like the universities or uh, controlled scientists, right? Like once people start realizing that they can't trust the government, the schools, uh, game devs, uh, anyone really, like once that happens, the entire the entire cabal just completely collapses because it, it is it is entirely built on this idea that what they do is being done because it's what's going to make them money right it's what is going to make them successful and when that just doesn't work like uh they are going to have to do something different right and again we keep seeing this happen over and over and over again like people aren't just going to magically wake up one day and decide that they have to consume woke products because uh only woke products are getting made like it's uh this is the worst it's ever been by far and yet, like, more and more we're seeing these shows fail and more and more people tuning out and, like, doing something else, right? You know, most people, if you want to avoid woke culture, all you have to do is go outside and spend time with your family.